insane and invalidates the core of supporters and the anger in this country, the biggest thing that makes me want to vote for Donald Trump is yeah. liberals saying things like that. No, I, I mean, it's true, and I'll be out and I mean, people will say to me, you know, what? But, but at your heart, don't you really believe that Donald Trump is a racist? And I'm like, no, you know, but it's... It's one of those things where the rhetoric on every side has gotten so loud. I actually think regular people are tuning out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think when they hear the name calling, they just kind of, they, they don't even differentiate who's calling who, what about what. They're just sort of like, ugh, this has gone to that ugly place and I kind of tune out. I don't know. What do you think, Judge? I think that what makes me want to vote for either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump the most is when a celebrity says, if they get elected, I'll move out of the Right, there's that. There's so, that, right? Then I'm waiting. Who do I want to leave more? This one or that one? Um, no, I think, that there, I think that what it does is it appeals to their core base. E each the, side. The each people side. who yeah. really despise Hillary love to hear him trash her, and the people who really despise right. Trump love to hear her trash him. But they've already got those votes. So you're, you're, what you're doing is you're turning off the people you're trying to get, you know? Can I to do really? rule. Can we please stop diagnosing people on national television? Right. You know, the doctor, <laughs> David Plouffe, he's not a psychopath. He doesn't meet the clinical definition. You know how I know that? Because you're not a doctor or a psychiatrist. <laughs> so you don't know whether he does or he doesn't. Neither do I. Rudy Giuliani, can we please stop diagnosing Hillary Clinton's medical condition? You're also not a doctor, so please stop doing that. It's really a, you, you just know. interrupted David Plouffe's lunch. He's sitting there going, wait a minute. Wait, I'm I thought not, she was I'm on not, our side. I'm not a psychiatrist. That's true. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is not an internist. What's funny is that sociopaths and psychopaths share a lot of common traits, and two of them that I remember from psychopaths I've had in front of me are <laughs> constantly flaunts and disobeys the laws right. and yeah. li constantly lies and deceives others. And a good argument can be made on the Trump camp that that applies to the other side. Well, why don't we just not make those kinds of yeah, diagnoses unless we're actually medical, medical trained totally professionals? Because that, to me... It's so irritating. When Giuliani did that a couple of days ago, I, I went off the rails. And the same thing with David Plouffe. I didn't hear that until we just did the show today. But enough with the diagnosis. My God, you are a campaign professional for a living. I think he works for Uber now. Focus <laughs> on that. Don't focus on somebody's psychological diagnosis. Everybody's bumping it up. Pretty soon yeah. it'll be, she's a mass murderer. Yeah. But everybody knows that that's the way to get your sound bite pulled out of the cycle. That's the way to nab the headline and have the conversation after that. Turn to whether or not that person is really like that or, or turn it in that direction. So it's all being done for a certain effect. Yeah. I do think what it does is it turns off the average... Uh-oh. Did somebody yeah, just tweet I, okay, in? Okay, so not only am I on my phone. But people are <laughs> tweeting That's at me, more telling more. me that I'm on my phone and this is why. Because we're talking about how things are heating up and we know that we found out when was it last hour that Huma Abedin, who right. was the trusted yes. confidant advisor and assistant to, well, no, I used to do something for you, obviously. <laughs> no name calling. Uh, yeah. To Hillary Clinton, uh, has separated from her husband, Anthony Weiner, after yet another sex scandal uh, just today. And so Donald Trump,